All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is stick our pattern down to a piece of oak tag. All right. And you don't need to stick this in the middle of your paper. You just need somewhere that you can make sure that you get the whole thing on. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down. Now I'm just laying this down here. I'm not forcing it down at this point. I'm just laying it down onto the paper, right? What you wanna do is get your two fingers here in the middle and almost like making a straight line. This is like your first point of contact, right? And now I've only stuck down across this line with that motion. And then you're gonna to want to smooth this down. You can use uh, something flat. Sometimes I can use the, the, ed, the, the back of my knife here to start to just smooth this down or credit card, debit card or something like that. Now you're gonna notice you're gonna get some small wrinkles in here. That's normal. There are some areas where you're gonna get wrinkles because this doesn't want to lay down flat. Okay, but I'm just taking my time and smoothing this out. Little by little, again, you can use your fingers if you wanna smooth it out that way. Okay, and now slowly you're getting everything to lie down. Some areas you'll have to kind of force it down, but you can get it all to lie down. Nice and flat. Again, you're gonna get some areas wrinkles here. You usually get area wrinkles here and a little in the front. Small wrinkles are fine, but you don't want this to look like a paper ball or it's gonna alter your pattern. All right, when you get into this part, what you're gonna to wanna to do is start to clean up some of these lines. You wanna keep the integrity of this, but there are things like this, if you want to clean this off, kinda of just straighten this up, you can do that. And little areas like here, You can straighten that up and just fill in this little area. That's fine. Um, you don't need to cut with every little ripple in the tape. Just cut a straight line. Even if you cut through a little bit of the tape, cutting off little edges like this, don't worry about that. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a rough cut because it's easier for me to deal with this. Okay, and now, I'm gonna go ahead and start to free this up from the pattern. So I'm cutting right close to the edge, taking my time, keep your fingers out of the way of the blade. Once you start your cut, it's better not to stop and keep following the contour of the sole here. Okay, make that cut. Let's make this cut here on the top. And let's make this cut here on the instep. Staying very close, you wanna cut right on the edge of the tape. And usually around the toe, it drops down here. You wanna keep that in the pattern for now. And also in the back, right on the edge of the tape, take your time and make that cut. All right, this is our master pattern. Um, now we are officially back to 2D. So we went from a 2D sketch to a 3D form, drew it on, and now we're back to 2D. Our lines are getting a little bit light here, so this is a chance to go over your lines one more time before you start actually cutting the pattern. You don't want in the back here your pattern to come up too sharp like this because it's going to make a V whenever you mirror your pattern. So you want your line in the back to come across more on a straight plane than you do for it to be coming sharp up in the back. So darken up a few lines here, get it the way that you want it to be. 
All right, and from there, this is our master pattern. All right, with this pattern, you wanna write all of the information that's on your last here. So you can see on the outside, I have my name here. So it's Michael one uh, size 10. So you would write that information here just in case your patterns get mixed up. Okay, then you'll know what this came from and then you can match it back to that. If I look on the inside of the last also, there are some, there's like a serial number here or this is actually the date and when this was made. So, let's see. All right, awesome. So you have some information here, so if your patterns get mixed up, you can come back to it. Now what we're gonna do is take this, and this is our master pattern, so we might as well go ahead and write that on there. With your master pattern, you're gonna go ahead and leave this, uh, you're not gonna alter this one in any way, all right? So now what we wanna do is go ahead and start cutting through this line uh, the easiest way to do that so we can transfer is it transfer that line is by using an all so you want to get your all and here and right on the edge of the pattern about two millimeters in go ahead and make a little hole there it's a point to indicate that you need to stop and don't ever cut through that line because you'll weaken the pattern same thing here let's make a little hole here that's indicating our stopping point all right, and from here, we're gonna go ahead and start making our cuts, and we're gonna cut little dashed lines, and we're gonna lift up our blade and move down. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer for this so you can see better. Um, and we're gonna cut a little dashed line here, and if I was to measure this, let me give you an approximate measurement for this. It does not have to be exact, but each of these is roughly a centimeter long these cuts that we're gonna make and then you lift it up you move a little bit down and you make another cut and you lift it up and you move down a bit more lift it up move down a little bit more and you'll see the point in this in a minute this is gonna allow us to transfer this line to a new sheet of paper a new piece of oak tag Okay, and if I turn this over, you can see where I made those cuts. So you can see the broken lines here, dash, stop, dash, stop, all the way through so I can transfer that line on the pattern. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is take my all, and I'm gonna go back over those lines. If you flip it over, it's a bit easier to see, and widen those lines. So basically, I'm making that line wider you can see oh this one is not this one's wider i'm making this wider so that i'll be able to get a pencil in there and transfer this line so go ahead and open up all of these lines and you do that by kind of running the all in there and slightly pushing against the edge 